So you have your Figma design and you want to turn it into code. You're looking all over the internet for the answer to this question and everything just seems too complex. That's because no one knows of this new strategy I'm about to show you on how to take a Figma design like this and turn it into code using artificial intelligence. Welcome back y'all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take any Figma design that ever existed for any context, any language, and show you how to turn it into code. For this process to work, all it will require for you to have is access to an AI chatbot, Claude, Gemini, ChatGPT. Personally, I'm going to show you this strategy using ChatGPT. So let's do it. Okay. So I have this little UI element here of this nice little shirt. Step one, screenshot what you want to transfer over as code. So for me, this section I'll be transferring over. Screenshot. Now with that screenshotted, let's go ahead and jump over to a React-based project so we can import this code. So I'm going to be in Cascada here just to showcase how to do this. But obviously, you can do whatever you want to do and however you want to import your code. So coming over to ChatGPT01 here, let's go and attach this image. With the image attached here, we want to output it in the specific code that we like. I don't know what that is for you, but for React apps, that's JS and CSS. If you want the best possible answers in this process and in this step, make sure you customize ChatGPT in order to optimize your outputs. What do I mean by this? Check out the description down below. Check out that video right there. I show you how to use custom instructions. This is where you put stuff like, hey, I want to make sure my output is using JS and CSS. Hey, we use a Python based backend, like very, very fundamental context stuff. You want to show up in the code here. For now, though, watch this. Before I show you the code output here, if you feel like I'm skipping steps here and you're like, whoa, 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 what is this guy even doing right now? Like, what did I even just click on? Let me take a step back and show you a video that you should watch if you're genuinely interested in turning Figma into code. That's this video right here. It's three hours and 11 minutes long of free content that shows you how to take designs and turn them into code and to actually deploy them to a real website link. I'll make sure to leave this video in the description down below, a little card up there as well. I took this website right here on webcafeai.com. I give every basic fundamental front-end development practice from taking designs, turning them into code that we can just deploy to a real website link. And the best part is that as you can see, it's mobile responsive and tablet responsive. Let's go ahead and turn this Figma design into code. Based on this image, create a file for product.js and product.css. Copy it exactly and with all the code. Use this image as a placeholder. Import pancakes and pancakes.png. This is just a pancake image I have in my React project. Pancakes, hit enter. So this is gonna be able to take any element that you provide there when it comes to front end development and just shoot out the code. This is pretty cool stuff here and it's very fast. This method and strategy also works with the ChatGPT 4.0 model. So here we go. We got our JS file, but whatever language that you want to output it as, simply ask that instead. So we got a product.js here. I mean, look how lengthy it's getting, y'all. I'm gonna go to copy this code. Make sure I create just the product.js file and the CSS. I will paste it here, save. If you don't save, it's not gonna reflect properly. Coming down, we got our product.css. Copy all the relevant code, paste it in our file. And then within at least react base apps to render it, we're going to import it. Tab, command save, and then tab again, command save. Make sure we are currently running. So at least for react apps, it's npm start. So I'm just coming here and just do npm start, scroll over, and boom. This is version one. Not bad. I mean, I did this within like 30 seconds, y'all. What we have so far here is that we're using the placeholder images right here, right here. And we also got the relevant copy that we saw over there. Let's keep working here. So the first strategy I suggest you do is screenshot this. And we're going to do this. We're going to say, okay, this is the design we got. I'm going to add that image ready to see what we want changed. So first I'm going to load this chat with just context of what their code even looks like. Perfect. Then I'm going to re-upload the original Figma design. So one thing I'm noticing about this Figma design is that it looks like it's using a width of around 1,200 pixels, or obviously it's more condensed. Also, we're getting pills over here for the choose size. The colors are a circle rather than a square. So this is stuff we outline to ChatGBT here to see in our design. So what was wrong with that element? We identified it. Okay, let's make it look exactly like this. So please provide both entire code files again. Notice all the elements are spread apart. So do a max width of 1,000 pixels. Also for choose size, make each option in a row and as pills and better color UI. For color, make each option a circle, crop. And for the product, add a slight shadow in the background in slight round corners. Where did I get all this information from? That's basically what's incurring right here. Hit enter. If you wanna learn like more in depth ways of approaching this strategy in this new age of coding, check out that three hour video as obviously within three hours, I show you from start to finish zero lines of code, how to deploy a full blown website 
based on other websites designs. Like for example, like the little top part, I copied cursor AI. So we're getting the entire new code file here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the JS, paste it over. We will then copy the CSS and paste it over. Hit save for both. If you don't hit save for both, it's not gonna reflect. And there we go. That's our second prompt to making it look closer to how we had it in the Figma design. Keep in mind, y'all, if I wasn't recording this, this entire process would probably only take me two minutes to get to this point. So obviously we got a couple things going on here. The choose size looks a lot better than it used to. The select colors is a circle crop, but I didn't identify one in a row. So we can do that. Next, we can go ahead and maybe increase the font size there. Add the little side images to be closer to right there and keep going here. So what we can do here is simply copy this again. This is not a necessary step, but sometimes it's just nice for ChatGPT to see it again. They want to see how they want to see the beauty of front end UI. So coming back over to our chat here, we're going to attach. Say, okay, looks great. But I also want you to notice like how unstructured these kind of prompts are. When you're just talking to ChatGPT in front end development, you don't have to use perfect grammar. It isn't like do these steps, do this context. It's very much just like, hey, I need this, 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 give me the code, proceed. Okay, it looks great, but make the color choice a row for the circles and also for the three images to the left of the main image, have it closer, like only 10 pixels away, enter. I wanna use as much layman dictation here as possible just to give you context, like, hey, you don't have to, you don't have to prompt perfectly, okay? You don't have to be a, a full blown prompt engineer. What's really cool here is that this entire process, not only is the time associated very little, but the traditional cost associated with this kind of work if you used Fiverr or Upwork would be thousands of dollars. So if you feel like you learned something, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free and it helps me out here. Same deal. Copy JS, paste over, copy CSS, and there we go. Obviously, the color swatches could probably be under select colors here, but this kind of gives you the situation of what we're going for. So we got V1, V2. Is V1 exact to V2? Obviously not, but that's because I only spent three minutes on this. Using this strategy, though, you'll be able to get an output exactly like this, probably with 30 minutes worth of work. So I'm saving you time, I'm saving you money because in reality, I think maybe the possible services to do this for you are like, are either annual subscriptions, monthly subscriptions, or just like out the wazoo kind of money. Also, this process gives you insight that front-end development is changing and the way we approach it in this new way of coding with artificial intelligence. So there you go, take any type of design you see on Figma or the internet and automatically make it into code you can start using anywhere. And don't spam me in the comments saying, Corbin, you skipped too many steps. Like, what's even going on? What's a React? What is the meaning of life? No, but if you actually want to see a full depth tutorial showing you this new way of coding that was only possible two years ago, check out this three hour video as this is a new age. Uh, this kind of content couldn't even exist in 2021. It wasn't possible. Pretty cool. Those are two random videos. That's my face. I'll see you in the next video.